Hey guys, today I am showing y'all how I'm going to meal prep for the week in a keto or a low carb style. I have been off my diet goals for the past couple of days because of just the extreme amounts of stress in my life. But I'm determined to be on track and this week is a lot better for me. So I'm going to meal prep so I do not make any bad choices this week. <laughs> so I'm going to make a egg casserole, some tuna salad, um, some cubed steak and cauliflower, and then my last meal of the day is not going to be prepped. I'm going to do like a protein ice cream. I'm just going to make that in the evenings when I'm ready to throw that together. You can't really prep that. But I will show you how I will make the egg casserole and the other things that I'm going to do. So first things first, I have my oven over here heating up. And we are going to throw this egg casserole together real quick. This egg casserole is super simple to throw together. All I'm using is 12 eggs, some Colby Jack shredded cheese, and some turkey sausage crumbles. I don't have a lot of time to sit around and cook right now, so I'm doing grabbing very convenient things to make this go by super quick before I have to go to class again. I'm all about convenience and ease and quick because I know a lot of us don't have a lot of time on our hands. First things first is I'm going to crack a dozen eggs. I have all of my eggs cracked into my bowl and the next thing I'm going to do is season it with some salt or some pepper, some pink salt and some of this Creole seasoning because I like a little spice. And I'm going to whip these eggs together with a fork and get them all nice and scrambled. All right, I just whip together my eggs. They are all nice and stirred together. So what I'm going to do next is I have two servings of Colby Jack cheese and I'm just going to dump, oh I just spilt it, whoops, and stir that into my eggs. I'm going to add this entire bag of turkey sausage because I don't see any point in just only putting four out of the five servings. So now mix in the sausage. And since I had these in the fridge, I'm going to throw in some bell peppers and onions. Just throw those in for some veggies. Now I've got everything I want in my egg casserole all mixed together. So I have a little pan that is greased with some coconut oil and I'm just going to dump my stuff into the pan. Just got all this mixed together, just dump it on in. And that is it. This took maybe five minutes to whip together. And now I'm going to stick it in a 350 degree oven for probably 30 to 40 minutes or until the egg is cooked all the way through. Woo! First part is done. So for some reason, lately, I have been really craving tuna salad. And I'm not even a big fish eater. So I decided that one of the meals I was going to make this week is a tuna salad. So back here I have my meal prep containers. I'm going to make four servings of this to eat over the next four days. I have these packets of albacore tuna and I'm going to put one of these in each of these containers as well as a serving of sour cream, a serving of real mayo, zero carbs, a little tiny bit of dill relish and each of them is going to have two of these hard-boiled eggs. I'm going to go ahead and just start emptying my packets into each of my containers right here. So 
since I am trying to be strict about my macros and hit them on point to try and further the changes I'm seeing in my body, I am going to use my little handy dandy scale that I found on Amazon.com for $10. This is the best scale I've ever used. It was super cheap because I have like a scale graveyard back there if you can see. There's like three of them that don't work, but I don't know why they're still sitting on the counter. I don't know. But I am going to use my scale to individually weigh out a serving of mayo and a serving of this sour cream into each of these containers because I want to know exactly the calories and macronutrients that I'm consuming when I eat this. So, let's get to weighing. There we go, one is done. Now I'm gonna continue that with the other three. I'm also going to add one serving of dill relish just because I like the flavor it brings. All right, in all of my little tuna salad cups, I've got my tuna, my mayo, my sour cream, and my relish. And the next thing I'm going to add is my salt and my pepper. I'm going to season them all up. And then we're going to stir them together with a fork so that they are ready to eat. Alright, everyone is seasoned. Now I'm just going to stir this all up together. And the last step I'm going to do is add two of these already hard boiled eggs. I'm just going to put two on top of each of my little tuna salads and when I'm ready to eat them I'll probably mash them up and mix them all together but that's just easier to do when I'm ready to eat. Got all these, just going to drop me some eggies into these and there we have it. This is my tuna salads prepped for the week. Now I just need to put the lids on them and we are ready to go. One thing I'm going to do when I eat my tuna salads that I just made is I found this cool little chopped salad at the grocery store earlier. So there is bacon, sunflower seeds, carrots, cabbage, romaine, kale, and green onions, I guess, in this little blend. So I will probably throw my tuna salad and mix it up with a little bit of this. Help get some of those micronutrients in. Give me a little bit more volume to my meal. And that's how I'm going to meal prep this meal for the week. Got tuna salad with chopped salad. Mix it all together and you are good to go. The last meal that I'm going to do is going to be steak and cauliflower. I bought four New York strips. I'm going to cut them up and cube them and throw them in a hot pan and sear them. And it's gonna be freaking delicious. It's gonna be good. I think I might, for now, just go ahead and cube them up and put them in a little bag to marinate because, you know, that would make them even better. So, I think I'm gonna do that and cook them later. For someone who studies meat science, this makes me so happy. Four New York strip steaks. I'm going to cube these up into like one inch cubes and then throw them in a little Ziploc bag to marinate. And literally just as I finished chopping up my last steak, I heard the oven go off. So we are going to pull out my egg casserole. Since it's basically Christmas, I'm going to use a Christmas oven mitt. This is my egg casserole. And this is going to make four servings. I'm going to cut it into fourths. I'm going to cut that egg casserole into fourths and it's going to be my breakfast for the next four days. So now I've got my egg casserole done. I've got my tuna salad done. I just finished chopping up the last of my New York strips. I've got my steak. I have some steak seasoning, some minced garlic, and some chipotle and roasted garlic seasoning. So I have my steak cubes in this bag. I added a tiny bit of vinegar, a tiny bit of olive oil, that steak seasoned salt, that chipotle garlic salt, and just some minced garlic. And I have this 
you know, squeezed it all together, gotten it all coated on all the pieces. And I'm just gonna let this sit in the fridge for probably five, six hours until I get home from class and can cook it. Yum! So my meat has been marinating for quite a long time now. So I have my pan heating up. I'm going to toss a little olive oil in the pan and I'm going to sear up my steak. Got some steak cooking and one batch is done. My steak is complete and it tastes freaking bomb. I just had some for dinner and it was pretty incredible. I'm going to let this cool and then I'll put it in a little Tupperware so I can portion it out for the week. And I also have plans to eat riced cauliflower every day but I'm gonna use like two servings of this every day. So basically I'm just gonna pour it straight out of here into the pan, saute it up with a little butter, and that'll go along with my steak. Just super easy, super simple, tastes delicious. And that is my meal prep for the week. I thought I would share with y'all my protein fluff or my protein ice cream that I plan to eat every single night since I'm going to make it right now. I have a cup of unsweetened cashew milk in my Nutribullet. I'm also going to use two grams of xanthan gum and one scoop of this Dimatize ISO 100 birthday cake whey. I'm going to add one scoop of my whey into my little blender cup and then I'll go over to my scale and weigh out two grams of my xanthan gum. This is literally just three ingredients. Your cashew milk, your scoop of protein, and two grams of xanthan gum. Now I'm going to add like nine to ten ice cubes, blend it up for about a minute, and the xanthan gum will do its magic and fluff into a nice little fluffy dessert. Added my ice, just going to screw the top on and blend this up and it's gonna be good. I hope you've enjoyed today's video so far. I am ending my night with this giant bowl of protein ice cream. Like, look at that. That consistency is like that of soft serve ice cream. This is bomb. Friggin' bomb. I always like to end up my night with this. It's like the perfect thing to satisfy my sweet craving and I have it to look forward to all day. So I hope you'll kind of enjoyed how I meal prep for the week and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and I will see y'all again real soon in my next video. Bye guys!